Hello everyone. So welcome to this video series on cryptography and network security lab. So in this video, we are going to look at program 15. So like and share this video and also subscribe to my YouTube channel for notifications on latest videos. So what we are going to do in program 15 is uh, they are asking us to use either TCP dump or wind dump and with at least four options okay so first of all what i would like to say is uh, both these things that is both these software are based on command line okay so they didn't so they don't provide any gui both are command line and tcp dump was originally developed for unix unix operating system and this wind dump this is a port of tcp dump to windows os okay so that's why its name is wind dump so wind dump is just a port of tcp dump for windows operating system right okay so the software that is required for uh, completing this program are winpcap and wind dump so in the previous video i have already shown how to download and install both of them so if you didn't watch, please watch the previous video, right? And so some description of TCP dump and wind dump. So TCP dump, as I already told you, is a command line utility uh, that allows to capture and also analyze uh, the network traffic. So network traffic means the packets. Okay, so you can capture them and analyze the packets which are passing through your system on the network. Okay. And as I already told you, wind dump is a port of TCP dump for Windows operating system. Okay. So we are, so in this program, in the demonstration, I am going to use wind dump. As my OS is Windows OS, I will be using wind dump. So let's go to the demonstration. So open the command prompt. So my Windom software is available in this location on my system. So if you want to see, you can see uh, here. This is the Windom software. It is a .exe file. No need to install it. You have to just directly use it. But before using Windom, you have to install this WinPCAP software. So watch the previous video how to do that. Okay. Right. Now the first thing we are going to see is. Uh, listing the network interfaces using Windom. Okay, your system might contain Ethernet, Wi-Fi, and also your system might contain virtual adapters using virtual box or VMware or any other software like that. So just type the command Windom and use the option capital D to list the interfaces. Okay, so Windom has detected five interfaces. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. And after each number, it is giving me uh, what is the identification that it is using internally on the system. Okay, so the first interface belongs to Ethernet. So you can see here Intel Ethernet. Okay, and the last one it is saying Oracle. I think it is VirtualBox interface. And the rest of the things it is showing Microsoft, but we are actually not sure what interface is which one okay so my system has wi-fi my wi-fi is connected to internet right now so i am not able to decide which one is wi-fi so what you can do is uh, you can try the command windom i so the i option specifies the interface and after this you can give the number so it has detected five interfaces right so let's see what happens if I give one and hit enter. So it is using the interface one Ethernet, right? Right now, my Ethernet connection is not connected to internet, so it is not doing anything. So press control C, so zero packets captured, right? Nothing is happening. Now let's give the interface two and see what happens. Okay, it has picked up interface two. So again, nothing is happening. So interface two is also not my Wi-Fi. 
so control c to stop and now let's give interface 3 and hit enter ah yes now i think interface 3 is the wi-fi on my system okay so it, it has started capturing packets right okay so i am hitting control c to stop the capturing process right so it is saying that 10 packets has been captured and 52 packets were received by the filter and zero packets were dropped by kernel okay so like this by trial and error you can know which interface is which one in your system by using the option i i okay so let me again give this command and show you uh, or explain you what is the output being displayed so i am hitting enter so it has started capturing okay i have stopped it forcefully by giving control c so it has captured six packets right so this is one two three four five and six packet is not shown i have uh, hit control c here so it stopped displaying it so in total it has captured six packets so first packet is this entire first two line so this first one first piece of information is the timestamp okay and this is ip version 6 and these so these things are ip version 4 and if you see after the IP version, it is displaying the name of the system. Okay. So what will Windom do is it will try to convert the IP address into this name, name form or text form. Right. So this arrow represents that traffic is coming from this system to this device. So this is IP version 6 address. And it is saying ICMP version 6. So this packet belongs to ICMP protocol and after that some other extra information is being displayed. Okay. All right. Now let's see this fifth packet. So fifth packet it is going from this system to again this IP version 6 address and the protocol being used is UDP and the data size is 90, 90 bytes. Okay. Now, if you see this, these names are not that much um, needed, right? We want to see the IP addresses instead of names. So how can you force Windom to display IP addresses instead of names is by using the option N. So if you view here option N, it stops resolving the IP address into names. Okay. Let's see what happens. Ah. Uh, now you can see IP addresses, right? It is not displaying any names. Okay. So this is the IP address up to 182. And this is the port number from where the data is going to this IP address and to this port. Okay. And now you can see this letters P and S, right? So S means TCP SYN flag. And P means data push. Okay, P means data push. So data is being sent from this side to this IP address. Okay. Right. So one more option is uh, if you have seen until now, I am stopping the packet capture by pressing control C, right? So if you want to capture only certain number of packets that is let's say 10 packets 20 packets or only two packets or five packets you can give the option c so c is like count count number of packets after which capturing should stop so i am giving five here and i am hitting enter now wind dump will automatically stop after capturing five packets no need to press control c See, after capturing five packets, the process has stopped automatically. Okay. And the final option I'm going to show is, uh, instead of displaying the output here on the console, if you want to store that in the file, and if you want to analyze that later, 
what you can do is you can give the option w okay and i am going to store that at this location okay i am storing that i am, I am going to store that file output file at in this location so so the location is this and give a slash and give the name of the file so i am giving the name of the file as out dot extension as pcap okay and hit enter now it started listening it will not show the output here it will store the output here okay so the process has completed it has captured five packets because we specified to it, it to capture five packets now if we go to the location you can see the file out dot pcap okay now there are multiple ways in which you can read this data so one is using the option r r read okay along with windom or you can use other software like wireshark to open this file and analyze the traffic okay so in another video i am going to show you how to download and install wireshark and how to use this software okay so that's it for this video on how to use windom thank you